Hey everyone and welcome back to another Fallout 76 video on the channel. Yesterday the PDS got yet another update activating the new quests for testing which are meant to be coming in the June update. As it currently stands you will only be able to complete one of these a day and there are meant to be five of them in total. Now honestly when I first decided to make this video I was going to kind of rip into it and call it basic and a bit boring but then I took a breather and kind of considered the actual purpose of these and where it could actually lead to. Now before I discuss all of this further I'll talk through the quest so you see where I'm actually coming from. To start with you'll have to travel to the Big Ben Tunnel East where you will meet Vinnie Costa. With a serious daddy issue complex and a need to feel accepted by Appalachia's most least known wannabe gangster you ask him for some work. After looking at your CV, Vinny notices that you are the General of the Enclave, a Knight of the Brotherhood of Steel, and the local 40 year old Pioneer Scout, and he asks you to play therapist and go speak with his underperforming worker, Kieran. Ignoring his therapist comment, and as a lover of the Godfather movies, there was no other response than to ask him, How many legs should I break? But Vinny didn't really like that and asked me to take a more modern approach and ask him about his feelings. After dropping hundreds of nuclear missiles it's kind of left my character with little feelings but I agreed to do it anyways. I then had to travel to the Big Ben Tunnel West to meet with Kieran who told me a story about some kids he looks after somewhere far away and he wants me to go get some Nuka World souvenirs as he can't be bothered to walk there himself. Frustrated at his clear lack of effort for his kids or whoever these kids actually are, I accepted as I wanted to keep my job as Vinny's right hand man. I then went to Nuka World on tour, grabbed five random trucks which just so happened to be lying around and then went and returned to him. When I got there he started having second thoughts as he realises that these kids are in fact not kids and they're actually in their mid 20s now and don't actually want toys but instead would just prefer a father to help protect them against the post apocalyptic world. These are not the real words kind of used or the stories but you yeah you just kind of get the gist of it. So the only response to this which I really wanted to put was fine I'll bin them. Well uh, wait. Tell me what you think about this. I'm starting to think that the souvenirs will only make them sadder. To see something from a place, a time, that, that they can't go to. I then convince him as his therapist that this is actually a lovely gesture and his kids, who may actually not be kids, will actually love them, but follow it with, would you not have just grabbed these on the way to go and see them instead of wasting my time. Anyways, after having enough of him, I then went back to Vinny and told him that Kieran will return as top grafter. I explained what the deal was and we both agreed that Kieran is indeed actually a wet wipe and does not suit the strong masculine moustache that he actually has on his face. That all being said, that was job done and he told me to come back tomorrow for more work. Now that in theory is the quest, of course it's not the exact quest line but you kind of get the gist of it and I'll leave the actual story for you to go and explore when it comes into the game. It took me around 7 minutes to actually complete it as I cheated and fast travelled everywhere and my character has a higher stamina than Lance Armstrong in the 2003 Tour de France. By finishing the quest you'll also actually unlock a little toy truck as a camp item so you'll never forget this quest ever existed. Now honestly when I actually finished this I was kind of left a little bit underwhelmed by it and I was a little bit annoyed at the fact that it was just yet another fetch quest. So I started reading through Reddit and Discord and got a bit more understanding of where people's heads were at and realised, you know what, little quests like this could actually be really good for the game. Imagine if we kept getting like little quests like this to kind of get us to go and return to say the Enclave, the Brotherhood of Steel, different like communities and also groups in the game where you can go up to them and they'll give you a little bit of a lore around the different characters that we've met throughout the like periods of playing in the game. It'd be really cool to get that kind of insight on different characters. Imagine like I'm sure at some point we'll learn more about like Ares. I think the next the second day is Eugenie. So there's gonna be lots of different stuff linked into the Blue Ridge Caravan company, but imagine if we went and actually learnt more about other people in the game, like Paladin Romani and stuff like that. If that is the case, then this could genuinely be really good for the game and really interesting when they kind of add more and more in. Of course, this is just the first one. The other ones may be really great, but I just wanted to share my honest thoughts on it and, as requested by Blunt, add a little bit of humour. So hopefully that worked and it wasn't horrendous. And yeah, that's it for the video. So I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button, make sure to subscribe, and I'll try and cover more of these as they pop up. And hopefully they'll be more entertaining than this one. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.